Good Thursday morning, everybody. Live and direct from Central Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. After a fairly stormy night last night, things are much calmer and a lot cooler for this morning. Definitely going to need the jacket as you head out the door for early this morning, but we're not seeing too much of anything in the way of major amounts of rain problems across the area so far. We may see the possibility of some more thunderstorms as we go into Friday, and some of those could once again be on the severe side, not to mention the fact that we are going to be seeing the possibility of maybe some much more rainfall especially areas west of us into Little Rock, parts of Arkansas, southern Missouri. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Quick update of the forecast, blue bar on the screen right there. Want to contact me on social media, icons there there and information in the red bar down here plus right here at the bottom of your screen you can see austin.onic at wreg.com contact me if there's something on here that you would like to see we'd love to be able to get you updated on that currently on radar we're just not seeing a lot of anything at this time matter of fact there's hardly anything showing up even around parts of the mid-south from areas around the metro area few areas of light drizzles taking place, but beyond that, there's just really not that much anywhere near the Mid-South area, so very much on the quiet side so far. On the earthquake, earthquake side of things, things are also very quiet. We're not seeing anything in the last 24 hours, according to the Center for Earthquake Research and Information at the University of Memphis with the New Madrid Fault has been quiet. No earthquakes to report in the last 24 hours. Definitely cloudy out there. St. Francis Kim, Germantown Parkway, busy as per usual at this time of the morning. And if you'd like to see more of our weather, ca weather bug cameras, all you have to do is go to wreg.com slash webcams to find out more there. Cloudy downtown Memphis, looking back toward West Memphis, Arkansas on the horizon. And things, again, very much on the quiet side for now. Probably not going to be staying that way into the next couple of days. We'll talk more about that in just a little while. But once again, WREG.com slash webcams for more there. Radar showing a lot of outdated information that should not be uh, what it looks like. So we'll skip that one for the time being and go straight ahead to the forecast got high pressure moving in. We will be seeing, again, some clearing skies today. It's a very cloudy right now, but better possibility of sunshine into the rest of the day today. By tonight, one storm system moves out back toward the east coast, and the next one is going to be on its way into our area as we get into around uh, Friday morning, very early, around midnight or so. This one moving its way in from off the Rockies, and once again, as these things move out of the Rockies and into the Plain States, they get a lot more room to maneuver, and that's where we start getting a lot more energy out of these things. By tomorrow morning showers are going to be back in the forecast and more possibilities of showers and thunderstorms into parts of the area those red hatched lines that you see just over into parts of Arkansas that's where we are seeing again uh, the possibility of some stronger weather from parts of southeast Kansas all the way down into the deep south possibilities of stronger thunderstorms coming through and that's going to be by early tomorrow morning and then the really pos good possibility of heavy rainfall starts to begin as we get into around the area of uh, Friday night, Saturday morning. That's where we see, again, some pretty good amounts of rainfall. As this front lines up, it's going to be stuck in place between, between two t areas of high pressure. That's going to allow moisture to ride up and along this front. And just like trains on a railroad car, uh, cars, cars on a railroad track, I should say, continuing to bring this more moisture up from the Gulf of Mexico and dumping it over the same spot. That's why the National Weather Service is going to be issuing a flash flood watch for parts of the area, especially into the weekend. Let's go ahead and see what's going on into the next couple of days. High temperatures today, pleasant, not going to be quite as warm with all this cloud cover up and overhead. Temperatures back in the high 60s to lower 70s, but no rainfall expected for today. Lows tonight, pleasant, back in the mid to upper 50s or so and looking at fairly quiet conditions in the way of rainfall for later on tonight and into early tomorrow. High temperatures tomorrow, winds continue back out of the south, and that's going to bump the numbers back up into the lower 80s or so across much of the area. And then showers and thunderstorms begin across much of the Mid-South as we get into the forecast for early on Friday afternoon. And that really starts to expand as we go into overnight for Friday night into early Saturday morning. Lows Friday night in the upper 60s to lower 70s. And through Throughout the day on Saturday, very good possibility of seeing uh, more chances of showers and thunderstorms overspreading the area, especially into the weekend. Most of the activity should be west of us, but there is still that possibility that we could get some more activity here uh, in the form of heavier rainfall, especially 
as we go into Saturday night and early Sunday morning. So what is shaping up to be a fairly soggy weekend for the Mid-South does look like we're going to be seeing more rainfall out there, way above freezing, so nothing in the way of frozen precipitation possible back in the lower 60s to lower 70s for low temperatures Saturday night. Highs on Sunday only in the mid to upper 70s, and again, plenty of rainfall across the entire area with highs back in the lower 80s. We also stand the possibility of some severe weather, not for today. The threat for the day one forecast for Thursday is really not showing much of anything. We are kind of bracketed by the possibility for severe weather, some over toward the Appalachians and others just up here into around the Midwest. That's where we're seeing again the threat for today. Now we're gonna go a little farther into the future day two as we get into tomorrow this is where things really start to expand along that front so mainly along i-40 and northward that's where we see an enhanced risk of severe weather that's that slight risk out there in the yellow higher risk the enhanced risk in the orange and that's where we see again the potential for the heaviest amount of severe weather mainly damaging winds but also the possibility of hail and cannot rule out the possibility of isolated tornadoes into parts of the mid-south and then for sunday we we see, or pardon me, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we see again the possibility of a slight risk of severe weather for a good portion of the Mid-South. And the main threat is going to be from Little Rock on down toward the central part of Texas in that orange enhanced risk category. That's where we see again that potential of more problems for parts of the area. Excuse me a second, got an ambulance going by here. Let him pass and do his job for the time being, or her as the case may be. Everybody stay safe out there today. Numbers again throughout the rest of the day. Again, don't support anything in the way of severe weather for us, but it could wind up being a fairly stormy weekend out there, and that also includes right on into Sunday that possibility of severe weather. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday doesn't look like too much, but Sunday could see some more possibility of severe weather out there, so that's something we're going to have to watch out for. All this information available from the Storm Prediction Center, so please drop by there and get some more details on that. Area shaded in green from the National Weather Service. Again, what you're looking at here all these counties are again what is going to be included in a flash flood watch where the heaviest amount of rainfall is expected the metro area is not included in this all of eastern arkansas is and dyer county in tennessee the boot hill and back into parts of central arkansas good possibility of what looks to be some very heavy rainfall from the weather prediction center uh, is calling this significant across parts of the central u.s for friday and saturday moderate risk of excessive rainfall in and around those days and you can see again this very large bullseye of very heavy rainfall. Now this is just again a blend of models. This is the data that we have in the forecast right now. Could it change over the next few days? Yeah, absolutely. But right now it's looking like we could see again the possibility of some very heavy rainfall from Oklahoma all the way back up into Illinois. And some of that is going to be affecting the Mid-South. Maybe not in direct rainfall, but in runoff as that stuff gets done and makes its way away from where the rain is falling, dropping down into parts of the Mid-South in local river streams, creeks, things like that. And that's why we could see, again, those flash flooding potentials out there. So that's why the National Weather Service has issued this flash flood watch as we go into the weekend. Best possibility of heavy rainfall is, again, going to be across Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, and Illinois. But once again, all that water's got to go someplace, and that means it could be making its way down into the watersheds of eastern Arkansas through Missouri, and that could cause a lot of backups, especially in those hilly areas of northeast Arkansas, northwest of Jonesboro. Could be some slowdowns or even some washout roadways in some locations, so we need to watch that very carefully throughout the rest of the weekend, as well as that chance of severe weather coming on through. So that's something we'll be watching with a lot of interest. Keep up to date with what's going on. Again, my Facebook page, facebook.com slash austinonic, W-R-E-G, uh, that's one word, Austinonic, W-R-E-G, on there. And, of course, don't forget about my Twitter page, available at twitter.com slash aonic underscore W-R-E-G-3. We'll keep an eye on what's going on with, again, whatever happens on radar. And if we have a chance for later on tonight, we should be able to talk a little bit more about astronomy 
on our Skyblog 3 last night. Kind of had to get some severe weather taken care of, so a little bit difficult to get things there. But if we can get a chance to get some astronomy in there, we'll throw it in. Even though we can't see anything with the clouds and the rainfall overhead, there's still plenty to look at online. And we'll talk more about that coming up as we go into later on this evening, so stay tuned for more on that. Again, questions, concerns, ideas, anything that you would like to see on here, please let me know. Austin.onic at WREG.com. Email address here. Social media information down in the red bar and forecast in the blue bar if you'd like to see more there. Stay tuned for more throughout the day. News Channel 3's Todd Demers has more coming up on Live at 9 and on the News at Noon. And Tim and Jim have more coming up on First at 4 and following throughout the course of the rest of the evening. So stay tuned for more there. Live and direct from Central Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more coming up with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day on air and online.